Hello mentors in this video we are going to learn how we can create game using MIT App Inventor. So first of all we will see the demo of this game and then we will create this game step by step. Now let me just click on that play button and let's click and you can see the one sound also and you have to save your life there's six monster three monster are static but three are running you can see they are following you like this so you have to save yourself whenever I touch this wall this wall size is increasing like this so you have to save yourself with all these walls and three monsters one more thing here whenever you touch with the edge of your phone so let me just click on restart game again whenever you touch that edge of your phone with your that green wall so that uh, you know that wall's speed will increase so let me just see that wall speed is increased I have added two sound that one first sound is like see game sound game background sound sound and last sound is the game over sound also let's start this game so we are using your MIT app inventor platform now we need to click on start new project and my project name is ball game and just say new ball game and okay in this project we need some components like button canvas image spread ball timer notification and we need some assets so i already have that assets like images so i will give you that all assets in the description so you can download first of all we need to use your layouts so click on layouts and just drag and drop that vertical arrangement and make this one with and height is fill parent like this and we just need to change background color so I will use your black or anything now I want to add one background image here so click on that image option click on upload file and you will see here choose file click on that choose file and you can see the asset so that one is photo so that open this and okay that's my background okay now we need one button here so drag and drop that button here and remove the text from that button and you can see here that image option click on upload file then choose file and select that button and okay image it's too big so I will make that hide and width is in a pixel so like let me just make this one 100 100 pixel so let's try this it's working fine okay but this should be in a 200 pixel in a width so that's our play button so whenever someone click on that play button so we need to open another screen so I will use here one more screen click on layout and make sure hide that one visible off now let's design another screen main screen and make this one is also fill parent and change that background color to black and we need to use your canvas so click on canvas so you can see the drawing and animation and drag and drop your canvas and make this one with and hide as fill parent like this now we need to change that canvas background color so I will use their black now we need here some components so first thing is like balls so I'm gonna change that paint color to my ball to the green green one that one like this or something like green something lighter like this and I will make that with this radius is 10 so that's our on ball now we need here some monster okay and we know we need here enemies so I'm going to use your three balls like this and I'm going to change that background color to orange something and I'm going to use your three balls one two copy paste and three this one you can change one this one is two so I will make that one is 60 here so we have three balls here now you can change all these ball colors so I will make that one to one is pink and one more is to be something like a red like this and I'm going to use here one three image spread so one and I'm going to add one picture to that image spread click on upload file click on choose file and we'll use here that monster image and okay now we need to change the size of that monster image so I will make that one with and hide is 100, 100 pixel like this so this is like this cool now I'm going to copy paste this control C and control V but it's too big I think so you can make this one uh, as a you know like 50 50 pixel so change that uh, 
थ्री वन साइज फ्रॉम योर लाइक दिस कूल सो वी नीड योर वी नीड टू चैन दैट पिक्सल तो फिर आई एम टू मेक दिस वन फिफ्टी एंड द हाइट इज ऑल्सो फिफ्टी सो इट्स लो स्मॉलर इट्स फाइन ओके कूल सो वन इज is smaller this one is uh, white like this cool so we have here six enemies three balls that are moving and that dynamic and three static and it's me like yeah it's you now we need to code for this but first of all we need to display this code so to display score we will use here one more layout and that is horizontal arrangement and drag and drop that layout here and make this one make sure this should be under the vertical arrangement okay like this or make this one with this fill parent and make this height is 15% or 10% you can make it 10% like this and make sure this should be a background color you can make any any color like pink is fine and we need to use here some component as like one level and one more level so in the first level you can just change the like your score is like this and change that font size to at least 20 and change that level 2 to 0 value and make that one is at least 30 or 40 so we can see the score okay and horizontal arrangement should be in a center and this should be in a center horizontal and vertical like this your score is 0 and that's the color and that's our game overall cool so that's the overall design we just make that one part so first of all we will make this one is visible off and make this one visible on like this and whenever someone click on that play button so we need to open the another screen this one so go to the block whenever someone click on that button one this one so we need to open the vertical arrangement we need to hide that visible off to our current vertical arrangement like uh, false just type here and then we need to open vertical arrangement too so just copy paste this one, change that word arrangement to two and make this one a true. Like this. Cool. Now let me just run this app, how it's work. Use emulator. So that's our first screen. So let's click on that play button. And that's our another screen. So we have done the design part. Now in the next video, we will learn how we can code for this game. And it's really easy, okay? So if you need any help on that, or I will give you the assets link also. So if you wanna download the assets, so you just need to put the thecodingbuzz.info slash new ball game, and then just enter. So automatically one file will be downloaded here, you can see, and you can unzip that file and you can use that assets. Cool. I will give you that link in the description so you can start working on that game. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video, and share this video. Have a nice day, be safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>